Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand division video. What I've guessed today is this week's vendor reset. Like always, if you guys are looking for specific items like weapons, gear, gear mods, weapon mods, anything like that, make sure to check out the description for the timestamps. They will be located where they were being sold. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So starting off first, you guys want to check out the special blueprints vendor. As always, uh, the first weapon I would recommend buying from him is this classic AK-47 blueprint. As you guys know, this weapon already does a lot of damage, and in my opinion, this is a very, very good pickup and a very good blueprint to have um, if you're making any some sort of PvE build. This weapon, not really the best one for PvP, but for PvE, it does a lot of damage. If you pair this with like Striker um, or even something else, this gun will melt any NPC really, really quick. Uh, next up, you guys want to look at this MP7 blueprint. Once again, this is not the most uh, favorable or, or not the best SMG in the game anymore. Um, as you guys know, the house and, and something like the MP5 is a bit better. But if you don't have this blueprint, if you want to make future builds with this gun, um, and you don't have a good one or a god roll or whatever it is, I would recommend picking this up. A couple steps over, you guys want to check out the special equipment vendor. Uh, the first weapon you guys want to look at is this Marine Super 90. What it comes with is 341.50% stagger, 129k base damage, and for the talents, it does have competent, trained, and determined. Now, in my opinion, this is more of a kind of electronic build weapon. Um, if you're making a six-piece tactician or a six-piece reclaimer, and you want to use a weapon that fits perfectly with talent and that type of build, um, this is something I would recommend buying. The only thing I would recommend is getting rid of trained, go for talented, and this will be a god roll weapon for a electronics build. One spot down, you guys want to look at this custom M44. What it comes with is 164% headshot damage, 143k base damage, and for the talents, it does have vicious, accurate, and predatory. Now, in my opinion, this is not the best kind of talent combination for a sniper rifle, but if you are new, if you're coming back, you want to use something with a Hunter's Faith build, or you want to use um, just a, in general a sniper rifle that's pretty good, um, this is something I would recommend buying. In my mind, I would reroll Predatory, um, get something like Prepared, Brutal, or even Disciplined, and this will be a decent pickup. The next item on my list is this Vigorous chest piece. What it has on it is 1205 Firearms, 15,823 Health, Skill Haze, and it also has Increased Skill XP. Now if I were to purchase this chest piece, I already have a better one, but if I were, um, I would probably reroll the Firearms, get it a little bit higher, or go into Stamina, it really depends on your build. Last but not least, you guys want to look at this tactician's chest piece, and I do know this is not classified, and a lot of people don't really want to see this. But once again, you gotta realize that a lot of people are coming back to the game, a lot of people are, um, you know, playing the game again because 1.8 was such a success. So if you're looking for a tactician's chest piece that is not classified, this one's actually pretty good. The only thing is, you have to get rid of stamina, get it a little bit higher, or go into firearms or electronics. It really depends on your build once again. Coming upstairs, we're stopping by the Advanced Weapon Avenger, and the only weapon you guys want to check out from him is this First Wave Vector 45 ACP. Now once again, the Vector, not really the best weapon, it got nerfed a lot previously, and it's just not really a popular weapon anymore in the game, but if you want to use it for some reason, this is a nice pickup. So what it has on it is 21.50% critical hit chance, and for the talent, it has Fierce, Hurried, and Deadly. In my opinion, reroll Fierce, go for something like Responsive or Unforgiving, and this will be a great purchase. The final person we're visiting at the base operations is this Gear Avenger. He's actually selling a prototype electronics mod that is a 260 electronics and 2986 skill power. If you're making a tactician build or reclaimer build once again, you are in need of electronic and skill power mods. This one is being sold once again in the base operations. Up next, you guys want to visit the Camp Clinton safe house, and the first person you guys want to talk to is the Blueprints Avenger. So what he's actually selling is a electronics gear mod blueprint. Um, if you guys are missing this, and if you don't have this in your stash already, this in my opinion is a must buy. Um, coming over, you guys want to visit the special equipment Avenger, and the first item you guys want to look at is this Cassidy. Now if you're making a Lone Star build or any other shotgun build with like Striker or whatever the case is, this, in my opinion, is a decent shotgun for damage, um, but anyways, what it comes with is 349.50% stagger, 172k base damage, and it also has responsive, ferocious, and boomstick. Now for PvE, this, in my opinion, is really, really good. You don't really have to reroll anything, 
But if you guys are planning on using this in PvP, you want to reroll Ferocious, go for something like Unforgiving or Deadly, and this will be the perfect setup. Next up, you guys want to check out the Specialized Backpack. What it has on it is 1,207 Electronics, 13,278 Health, and it also has 14% Burn Resistance. In my mind, I would reroll Electronics, go for Firearms or Stamina, and this will be a nice fit to any build. Now the next couple items I will show you guys are some gear items, um, keep in mind they're not classified anything like that, they're not high end, they're just normal gear, um, and this is for anyone that is coming back to the game or anyone that's new to the game, if you're looking for some really good items to buy from this vendor, here it is. So the first one is this Dead Eye Mask, what it has on it is 1261 firearms, 9353 skill power, and it also has burn resistance. If you guys want to make a PvP or PvE sniper build, Using something like 5 piece Deadeye and a Reckless Chest Piece is a really, really good build. A few spots down, there's a pretty good Sentry's Backpack for sale. What it has on it is 1,258 Firearms, 12,200 Health, and once again, it does have Burn Resistance. Um, next up, there's some Striker Knee Pads that are really good as well. If you guys want to make a 4 piece Striker build, or if you want to, um, you know, just overall make a Striker build, these Knee Pads are pretty nice. So once again, they come with firearms, health, and they also have damage to elites, shock resistance, and bleed resistance. In my opinion, get the firearms a little bit higher or go into stamina, and these will be really nice. Last but not least, there's a pretty good banshee holster for sale as well. Um, as you guys can see, the firearms, the stamina are pretty good. Um, the only thing you really have to reroll is the electronics, or you can go and reroll the health into critical hit chance and have a decent banshee holster. If you guys are looking for a pretty good firearms and critical hit chance mod, you want to check out the Cavern Safe House. What he's actually selling is a prototype firearms mod with 262 firearms and 1% critical hit chance. So if you're making a damage build for PvP or PvE, this in my mind is a must buy. The next person you guys want to visit is the Meat Locker Safe House. Um, there's two items from him I would recommend buying. The first one is this classic AK-47. If you guys don't want to buy the blueprints, if you want to buy a Classic AK-47, just for PvE, this one's pretty good. So what it has on it is 22% enemy armor damage, 29k base damage, and it also has Unforgiving, Predatory, and Destructive. Honestly, you guys can leave it how it is. Um, predatory, Destructive, and Unforgiving are pretty good roles for PvE. But if you want to change something, I would recommend getting rid of Predatory. Go for something like Responsive, uh, Vicious, even Ferocious it will be pretty good on this for PvE. The next item is the C79 scope, and what it comes with is 16% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 2% accuracy. If you're making a dead eye build, or if you want to use this for a MDR or any other um, type of sniper rifle or marksman rifle, whatever you want to call them, this, in my opinion, is a little bit better because it doesn't zoom in that much for a scope um, than the original one, which zooms in like very, very far, and it's kind of annoying to use. But as I said, if you guys are in need of any of those items you want to check out the Meat Locker safe house. Next up, we're stopping by the last coal safe house, and what he's actually selling is a PP-19 that does have 21.50% critical hit chance, 21.4k base damage, and it also has ferocious, responsive, and hurried. Now for PvE, I would say this is okay, you don't have to really get rid of anything, maybe get rid of hurried, go for something like deadly, but for PvP, definitely get rid of ferocious, go for deadly, or unforgiving, and this will be a nice purchase. The final open world Avenger you guys want to visit is the South Pole Avenger, and what he's actually selling is a prototype performance mod that is a 1.50% pulse critical hit chance mod. If you guys are in need of this, if you're making a high um, critical hit chance SMG build or AR build, anything like that, and you want to have a little bit more critical hit chance with your pulse, this is an item I would recommend buying. Getting straight into the Dark Zone, the first person you guys want to visit is the Park Avenue Checkpoint. He's actually selling a pretty nice LVAC, um, but what it has on it is 22% enemy armor damage, 22.4k base damage, and it also comes with Focused, Fierce, and Vicious. In my opinion, I would get rid of Focused and use something like Responsive or even Deadly on this or Unforgiving. But in my mind, if you're making a high critical hit chance build, as I said previously, this is a really good weapon because it already has Fierce, it already has Vicious. Um, the only thing you really have to do is stack some critical hit chance on your gear and use critical hit chance mods and you will be perfect. If any of you guys are looking for a Ballistic Shield Damage Resilience mod um, for your D3 FNC build, you want to check out the East 46th Street Checkpoint. 
He's actually selling a 5% mod with the damage resilience for your shield. Um, so as I said, if you want to make a PvP build with D3 FNC, um, like a 6-piece or even a 4-piece, this is a really good mod to have. The East 31st Street checkpoint is the next person we're looking at. He's actually selling a pretty good black market SASG-12. What it has on it is 306.50% stagger, 212k base damage, and for the talents, it has deadly, destructive, and self-preserved. Once again, this is more of a PvE weapon. The only thing I would recommend doing is getting rid of self-preserved, go for responsive, and you will have a really nice shotgun. The final safe house you guys want to visit for this week's Vendor Reset is the West 34th Street Checkpoint. He's actually selling a pretty good grip. It does come with 16% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 2% accuracy. Although the critical hit damage isn't maxed out, um, you're still missing a couple percent, but it is really good. It does have stability and accuracy, and that's pretty much what you want on your grip. Anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I respond to all my comments, but once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Trap